Hey, how's it going? This is Henry Fleischer here responding to your request for a quick video on tips you can use to grow your business online. So first things first, I'm on your Facebook page, SNA. I like how on your profile picture and your cover photo it shows you at work. So taking the phone calls, like look at getting booking an appointment and then actually on the job cleaning in the cover photo. I also like how you can book an appointment through your Facebook page too. That's also key. Then going down here further, it's good you got some photos. Be having more posts too will help engage with users and then get your name out there too. Then going to the about section, it's good you got your phone number on here. People could message the page or tell them that you're at the cleaning service. But one thing I'm not seeing is a website. I'm going to show you how you can actually use that to your advantage. So when you type in cleaning NYC, here's what pops up. So these are all like Google guaranteed sponsored posts. So those people are paying to be on page one is since they're renting it and here's more ads too these people are renting that space and you want to be owning it i'm going to show you some tips about how you can own that space on page one once we get past the advertisements then we get into the map portion of google and the top three people here get the most traffic then when we go further down we're in the organic section it looks like made sailors has the top spot in maps and organic so they're going to get a lot of traffic and then we go further down and this is you definitely want to own a space on page one. I'm going to show you the stats with Google traffic on page one. So then we got some Twitter, got Handy, Made Marines, Lazy Susan Cleaning, Groupon, and we got more ads. So here's the stat. So 91.5% of Google traffic actually goes to page one. Once you leave page one and hit page two, the traffic significantly goes down all the way to 4.8%. And then page three gets 1.1% of that traffic. And page four and up gets almost nothing. You're getting breadcrumbs. So if you're not on page one of Google, it'll just be much harder for people to find you there. In addition to 47% of the time people are using a Google search, they're actually trying to find a local business service. So we're going to check out Made Sailors because they have the top spot in maps as well as in the organic section. So let's check out their website and see what they did. So some things too, they have a clean website. They have nice images. They have a clickable phone number at the top as well as like they have you can text them as well too and then they have all about the what they like testimonials they have who they are see they have a lot of like content on here so some things google actually looks for when ranking a local business website is authoritative content you want to have between 1000 to 1500 words of authoritative content all about the services you provide and it looks like they do all that and another key too is to have a lot of web pages as well. Google favors those websites with lots of content and lots of web pages. Because I'm going to show you real quickly for made sailors. Let's look at their website. How many pages they have. Hold on a second. Okay. So we, when you type in site colon and you paste in the web URL, it says they appear 859 times. So that's 859 times people can find them on Google. So here, let's go back to their website. And they definitely have that 1,000 to 1,500 word range, maybe a little bit more. See that they tell them all about them. But they have like blogs too. They have the locations. It doesn't look like, it looks like they're not just in New York, but in Boston as well. And they have like Airbnb cleaning, office cleaning. And every time you have a website, you want to make sure that you have to always stick to yourself. What's the first action you want the user to take? So anytime you have like a business, you want to make sure that they have a way to get them contacting you. It's always best to have a clickable phone number at the top left, followed by like a contact form at the top right. And right above that contact form, you want it to say like get a free estimate or get like a free quote. That'll give them more incentive to actually fill out the contact form and then they can reach you via email. And then with having a clickable phone number, it makes it easy for them to call you through a mobile device. So let's just take a look at one of their service pages because for each service page, you want to have between 500 to 750 words of authoritative content. So it looks like they have a lot of words here, too. You also, yeah, it's always good to have pictures as well. And then all your testimonials, like FAQ is a good one. Maybe a partner us, like a book now where they can book on the website, too. Could be good. You could follow that model. While having great content and authoritative content is very necessary and is a must, it's only one piece to the puzzle. You also need a thing called backlinks, which is when you put your website link onto another website. But not all backlinks are created equal. Some are more powerful than others. So, like having a new website, similar to being a new kid in a new school. Yes, what new website or new kid could have a great personality, be good looking, come from good family. Yet, 
on day one at the new school, or they're not going to get popular right away. They have to it'll take time to win the votes and confidence of all their peers and the popular kids. And Google acts as who the judge of the popular kids at the school. Are. So if you put your website link onto goodhousekeeping.com and they gave you a follow, Google would see that and be like, oh, goodhousekeeping.com likes this new kid. We're going to move him or her up the rankings because Good Housekeeping is a well-known website. They want to find more and more of those popular kids or popular websites to link up to. If you put your uh, website link onto a new website called johnscleaning.com and they gave you a follow, Google would see that and be like, oh, John, new kid vouching for another new kid? His opinion doesn't mean anything. We're going to keep him where he's ranked. So using a tool like to use called Ahrefs, we can get a pro overview of maidsailors.com. As you see here in their headline, they have like NYC maid service, house cleaning NYC, office cleaning NYC. So that's definitely some keywords you'd want to have there. And they rank for 34,500 organic keywords. And then they also have a lot of backlinks too. So some tricks you can actually do for backlinks, you can actually see who your competitors are linking to and try to link up to those same websites. And you definitely want to sometimes back for backlinks it's not all about like having the most, but you have to make sure you get really good quality ones too. So here's some keywords that they rank on. So we got, let's see, how to clean airbrushes could be like a good blog article title. See it searched 4,000 times a month. And then we got made sailors. You don't want to appear on like new maids. It's not a good keyword, but yep. They got like professional cleaning services. That's definitely a keyword. Search uh, 2,600 times a month. NYC cleaning service, definitely more. 700 times a month. Cleaning services, NYC. Search 1,100 times a month. Let's see what other ones. Let's see. House cleaning services, NJ. Maybe that could be another one too. You can also make location-based pages too to add to a website. So maybe you can do one about each borough. So Manhattan, Queens, Brooklyn. Bronx, Staten Island. Maybe you could break it down even further too into like the different neighborhoods in each borough, like in Manhattan. You could do like Upper West Side, Upper East Side, Midtown, East Village, West Village, Gramercy, Flatiron. And then in like Brooklyn, you could do Williamsburg, Flatbush, uh, Park Slope. Maybe you go over to New Jersey too, in like Jersey City, maybe Newark, even Hoboken. So going back to, yeah, Ahrefs with the keywords though. So yeah, got office cleaning, even like restaurant cleaning can do that one too, like maid service and J, yeah, if you go there. And to rank in the map portion of Google, you need a thing called citations. So what a citation is, it's the number of times that your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. So I saw in made, on madesailors.com, they actually have a citation. This is one right here because that's their address and phone number. And you want to have between 50 to 100 plus more than your competition. Having way more citations is not enough. You still need to have that website with the highly authoritative content as well as all those juicy backlinks. If you have that high powered website in addition to way more citations than your competitors, then you're going to get ahead of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.